Okay, then show this question. We have two quadratic equation in this equation, right? Modulus. Therefore, for every modulus as a positive one uh, answer and a negative answer. That means ax plus b completely, perfectly, absolutely positive. Then show as it is, or this is negative, put extra minus and write it. Therefore, here... Uh, we take two cases, right? If AX plus B, if AX plus B greater or equal zero. If AX plus B greater or equal zero, you have a solution if quadratic form. So we write therefore then this completely positive, right? AX plus B greater or equal zero. Then you can write as it is, no any changes, ax plus b, all things square. The same here, ax plus b is positive, then ax plus b and plus c, right? So here very clear, you can rearrange a quadratic, one quadratic equation can be formed in how many x squares, how many x terms, and how many numbers equal to zero. Therefore here, a square, x square, plus 2abx plus b square plus here a square sorry ax plus b plus c right that is fx so the function in x rearranged to quadratic pattern so here is x square plus here take the 2 b plus uh, 1 is it into x a and x right 2 a b x plus a x and finally b square plus b plus c this is quadratic function if you make to keep it zero then become a one quadratic equation right this is one quadratic equation a x square x square plus 2 a b or you can take the out 2b plus 1, 2b plus 1 into x uh, plus c this pattern. If uh, delta greater or equal 0, one quadratic equation, that means uh, modular symbol greater or equal 0, right? One function. So, but the other one, but the other one, modular symbol becomes negative, right? If, if ax plus b are less than zero. If a modulus symbol become minus inside, you put an extra minus and write as it is. Then, then okay, fx equal, uh, here completely square, then no matter of the minus symbol, whatever inside complete square, they have become positive, right? ax plus b square, but the second one is a minus part, right? Put a minus and write it. AX plus B, okay, AX plus B at last plus C, right? Therefore, can you see this? Uh, second uh, answer, second quadratic function. Rearrange here A square X square. A square X square. And plus 2ABX minus AX. Can I write then, <clears throat> can I take the A out? Then 2b minus 1 is it into a they are right a into 2b minus 1 into x uh, plus b square minus b plus c equal to 0 right is the first part so there are two qe's two quadratic equations right uh, two quadratic equations available one is a square x square plus 2b plus 1 into ax plus b square plus b plus c same method other quadratic equation a square x square plus 2abx minus ax but here plus b square minus b plus c first part is over right so what the second part uh, if c equal uh, yeah find the range of c such that having a uh, real roots so this quadratic equation has real roots show that answer. So what the idea for real roots, delta greater or equal zero, right? Delta greater or equal zero become real roots. 
Therefore, if I rearrange our first equation, what is first quadratic equation? What is first quadratic equation? A square, A square, X square, plus 2B, plus 1 into AX, plus B square, plus B plus C equal to 0, right? This is the first quadratic equation, right? Can you say this? First quadratic equation, this consists of real rules, then discriminant or delta greater or equal 0, right? Therefore, delta greater or equal 0. So they said if the real root find the range or boundary of the C. So what is delta B square minus 4AC? Here it is A, here B, here C, right? Therefore, 2B plus 1 square A square, the B square minus 4 times A uh, into C, right? B square plus B plus C greater or equal 0. Delta greater or equal 0 for a real root uh, concept. So now simplify, collect the C answer from this uh, inequality, right? So it becomes, can I divide by A square? Can I divide by the A square? So if I expand this one, 4B square plus multiple both and double, 4B plus 1, right? Multiply by minus, uh, then minus 4B square minus 4B minus 4C, okay? Greater or equal 0. Okay, therefore, see here, 4B square cancel, here is cancel. 1 minus 4C greater or equal 0. Therefore, I think C becomes less than 1 over 4, right? So check if you worked already, check this answer. C becomes less than or equal 1 over 4. Then only the first equation consists a real rule, right? C less than or equal 1 over 4. If I take... Uh, inequality a i say inequality a right but the question is uh, find the range of values of c such that fx0 has a uh, real roots so you have one inequality for c now we see what happened for the second equation but the second equation second inequal equation delta that uh, greater or equal zero what happened that uh, C inequality, C range, right? C number two, that is second equation. So for second equation, can you see this? For second equation, uh, delta greater or equal zero, right? Delta greater or equal zero. So what is delta B square? Then a square into 2b minus 1 square minus 4ac, right? 4ac. So like earlier, b square minus b plus c. This is greater or equal 0. We've got discriminant. They say real roots. Therefore, delta greater or equal 0. So like here, you can simplify, cut the 1a square. And expand is uh, 4B square minus 4B uh, plus 1, right? Minus 4B square plus 4B minus 4C, right? Greater or equal 0. Then 4B square cancel. Here 4B cancel. You can get the answer. Another inequality for C. The same method, I think, check that C become less than or equal 1 over 4. If I see the inequality B, so if you connect the both of these two inequalities A and B, the early also we have this uh, C less than or equal to 1 over 4. See here C less than or equal to 1 over 4. So connect the both here. The answer is 1C range for both of the quadratic equation. C contains uh, a solution less than or equal to one fourth quarter, right? But this is satisfy only the given equation has uh, real rules, right? Has real rules.
Okay, so this is the part of the first part and the second part, right? Now the last part is if the if c equal one, they say if c equal one, if c equal one, show that the solutions are one is alpha, one is beta, the one is gamma and delta. Okay, therefore show that answer, right? So if I write the equation once again, a simple part, that is simple. What is your first equation? What is first equation? What is first equation? A square x square plus 2b plus 1 into ax, okay, plus b square plus b, this is c is 1, right, c is 1, equal to 0. Here the roots are alpha and beta, right, here the roots are alpha and beta. So alpha plus beta minus b over a minus b over a, one sum of the roots, and next alpha into beta, right, alpha into beta c over a, b square plus b plus 1 over a square, right? For this pair of equation, sum of the roots and the product of the roots, alpha plus beta minus b over a, and alpha into beta, uh, c over that pattern, right? To, so there's a also alpha plus beta minus b over a, right? Okay. Now come to your second equation, write the same method. They said second equation consists gamma and delta the solution, right? So second equation a square, second one, second equation a square x square plus 2b minus 1 into ax, okay, plus b square minus b plus c is 1, c is 1, right, equal to 0. This is second equation. For this, the solutions are gamma and delta right therefore write the answer gamma plus delta like alpha plus beta minus b over a so minus into 2b minus 1 into a over uh, a square right alpha plus beta that answer next alpha into beta that means gamma into delta that is c over a b square minus b plus 1 over a, so a for a square, right? So these are the parts you have to find before the final term. So now the question is, show that, show that alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is a 4b over a. Then you add this two. Then if you sum this two, you have answer alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. And we collect that answer, right? So I hope you complete this uh, problem. Check uh, my solution. If any problem, ask questions, right? Okay, there are four now. Uh, there are four alpha plus beta. There are four alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta plus gamma plus delta. Answer is what? What is alpha plus beta? minus 2b plus 1 into a over a square uh, again gamma plus delta also minus 2b minus 1 into a over a square right so simply you can simplify this expression right can you see this so the lcm is actually convert one a cardiograph for the a here right what happened is, is minus 2b minus 2b that uh, minus 4b is it therefore minus 1 plus 1 cancel right the answer is minus uh, okay that 4b over a right is it uh, minus 2b minus 2b therefore there is uh, minus 4b over a right it's minus symbol minus 4b over a so that part is over that part is over some of the roots uh, both occasion at the both and get the long part, right? Uh, next we find the uh, alpha beta into gamma delta answer. Alpha beta gamma. All the four roots separated twice multiple. 
So over that I'll find to beta b square plus b plus 1 over a square gamma into delta b square minus b plus 1 over a square, right? This is the answer alpha beta gamma delta. Show that solution. So simple maths if you rearrange properly factorization form a minus b a plus b form. So can I write this b square plus b plus 1 separate form think like that. This one what b square minus here b plus 1 there's a minus out a plus b a minus b form then only the sum. Uh, we take that b square plus 1 we take right check that check the b square plus 1 plus b separately okay next one b square plus 1 minus uh, b separately okay completely a to the power 4 right rearrange the factorization form a square minus b square form therefore uh, a plus b a minus b form then b square plus 1 all things square minus b square over a to the power 4 right as a result final answer if you expand this if you expand this bracket b to the power 4 2 b square minus b square 1 b square is it at last plus 1 over a to the power 4 okay is it clear is the question so simple problem verify you see about the modulus idea any modulus has two solution mod x equal to x if x greater or equal to 0 the same time mod x equal to minus x if x less than 0 from there you can build up two quadratic equations if they are real delta greater than 0 or equal to 0 and so on you can complete this part right this is the first question my essay model one i completed all 30 structured paper right